Hi, my name is Tammy Whitehurst, and I'm the founder of Joy for the Journey Ministries. Nehemiah 8.10 tells us, the joy of the Lord is my strength. And in today's world, we need all the strength we can get. Rest assured, you will have the strength you need when you have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Can I just tell you that one time before I got in front of a whole bunch of women, about 600 of them, before I got in front of those women, my friend said this, I can't believe that you don't wear a spanks before you get in front of people. She said, Tammy, it would make you so confident. You would do your job so much better. And I used to, I used to argue with her and say, but my confidence comes from the Lord. And she would say, oh, but your confidence becomes so much better if you would just wear a spice. So you know what? I don't give into peer pressure very often, but I do. And some of you went, hey, hey, hey. Because you know how hard it is to get into that thing. You know how much harder it is to get out of that thing because you were sweating. But I put that thing on, and I got up in front of all those women, and I was feeling temporarily confident. And I was walking around, and I was talking, and I was sharing the good news, and all of a sudden, that thing started rolling. <laughs> Woo! I look like a human cupcake instantly. Tammy presented the message in a very joyful and uplifting way, and I thought it was directed in a way that many different people could understand it. The thing that I enjoyed the most is that I felt both um, convicted by what she said, but I felt definitely renewed by her message because now I know that I can apply those principles to my life. Some of us get so busy that we miss out on the things that God wants us to see. The busyness is not a spiritual gift. Now I believe gallivant for God is, and that's totally different. The difference between busyness and gallivant Busyness will wear you out when you are so tired. Gallivant for God will wear you out, but you are energized because you know that Christ kept pushing you on. Tammy has a unique way of energizing the entire room. And in just a few short moments, she creates an atmosphere of friendliness through laughter. Through sharing her life experiences, she inspires us to always seek the joy of the Lord that we're promised. I'm sure that all of us will live different lives after hearing what Tammy had to say today. We tell ourselves everything that we can't do. We complain, we moan, and we groan about everything we can't do. When God is whispered in our ear, you can do all things through Christ who gives you strength. You can soar on wings as eagles. Ladies, can I tell you, if you don't think you can soar, then you run. If you can't run, then you walk. If you can't walk, then you crawl. If you can't crawl, then you drag yourself. But you keep running the race with endurance that God has set before you because he still has a plan for your life. Tammy Whitehurst is one of the most inspirational people that I have ever known. You are definitely going to want to hear her speak. She has the joy of the Lord in her like no one I've ever heard before. She's so enthusiastic and just so inspiring that it doesn't matter what circumstances that you find yourself in, you're going to leave with a huge smile on your face and laughter in your heart with such enthusiasm yourself to go share that joy with others. It is that strong. She takes you to the front of grace. She lets you know a safe place, a smack dab in the center of God's will. It is only when you're there that you're going to find the true joy that she's talking about. He knows your pain. He feels your hurt. And he can comfort you. And he can take his big hand. And he can lift your chin and look at you and say, I've got it. You just keep praying. 